1909 to 1910, a reaction to the corseted women of the 19th century over whom reigned Charles Frederick Worth, the father of haute couture leads Frenchman Paul Poiret to reinterpret the empire-style dress set under the bust. The corset is made redundant. 1916, Gabrielle Chanel liberates women's bodies. The jersey, until now reserved for women's underclothes, makes both comfort and fluidity possible the body enjoying an unprecedented freedom of movement. 1920, Roaring Twenties designers like Jean Pateau shorten dresses and don't mark the waist. 1926, Gabrielle Chanel continues her quest for simplicity and radicalism by creating the little black dress. With the crash of 1929 and later in the 1930s, skirts and dresses get longer and sheath dresses mimic the body. During the years of war and occupation, fashion houses like Nina Ritchie come up with the triangle bust, belted waist, highly developed and shortened skirt. 1947, Christian Dior gives women back their femininity with his Corolle collection and the new look. The corset makes a comeback, tightly holding the waist with long, full skirts. Summer of 1958, Cristobal Balenciaga creates the baby doll dress. With its trapezoid shape far from the figure and its short sleeves, the body is no longer constrained. Created in 1954, the tweed suit of Gabrielle Chanel is at its peak in the early 60s. In contrast to Dior, this iconic garment brings comfort to active women.